In this video, we are going to go over PHP Artisan. And Artisan is a command line tool provided to us by Laravel that allows us to start up a localhost 8000. It also allows us to generate a lot of files. It's basically a helper tool that we can use provided to us by Laravel. So we've already been using this in the past couple videos. As you can see, we've been running this command called PHP Artisan serve and it will serve up a development server at localhost 8000, which we can then access our application from. So if I go ahead and type in PHP Artisan, we will get a list of all the Artisan commands that we can use. So you can see here, we can go through all the commands and you can see we have DB seed, which will seed our database, make, which will make a multiple of files. We'll be going into a lot more of these make artisan commands in future videos. And you can see that we can just do so much with this helper tool. So one that I want to show you that we're going to be using in the next video is uh, we can make, say, a new controller. So let's say that we wanted to go PHP artisan make controller. And let's say that we wanted a customer controller. We will now get a message that says controller created successfully. And if we go into our app, HTTP controllers, we now have a new customer controller file. And that customer controller file, we're actually going to be going over in a future video. In the next one, we're actually going to go over models. And so I will show you how to create a model using the artisan command. So we can say PHP artisan make model. And I could say customer. And now if we go inside of our app folder, we now have a new file called customer.php. So you can see just how easy this is. We can use the artisan tool to generate new controllers, uh, new uh, models, and new migrations. And migrations is a way of adding database schemas and uh, database data to our files so that way we can version control all of our database and the data. So that is it in this video, uh, just a simple rundown of Artisan, kind of what it is and how you can use it. In the next video, we'll be going over models and how easy it is to interact with your database using the Laravel Eloquent models.